spoke yesterday, we were discussing the halakot of Kiryat Shema, how important it is time. Time is a very, very important thing. So yesterday we spoke about the earliest time that a person could say Kiryat Shema, which we said the earliest time that a person could say it is approximately about an hour, Sha'az Mani, before Netzah Hama, which we said is questionable in halakha, what time that is exactly. There are different opinions in regards to that. What, uh, how to calculate the timing and everything. But to uh, give or take, it's about 45 minutes. Now in the winter time, it's about 45 minutes before sunrise. Uh, there are two different opinions. 26 maybe, 626, 27, somewhere around there. It's different opinions, whichever, whichever opinion a person goes with, definitely has we to rely on. But also a person has to recognize that Kiryat Shema has a less time than a person can say Kiryat Shema. Although we know anyone who reads Kiryat Shema any time of the day, you read Kiryat Shema at any time of the day, it's a mitzvah, you like reading in the Torah. However, if you want to be Mikayan, the mitzvah of Kiryat Shema, there's a time in the morning that a person has to read it. What is the time? Up to three hours into the day. So it's not up to three hours into the day that you start up to three hours into the day of the day that starts. So regardless whether you're sleeping or not, the day has begun. When does the day begin? So there's actually a machloket ben between the Magen Abraham and the Gera. If you calculate the day starting from Alot HaShahar, which this morning Alot HaShahar was about six o'clock this morning, and or possibly we calculate Alot, we start from Netza Hama. Netza Hama, sunrise is about 7.20. Huge difference. Are we calculating from Alot Shahar, which is 6 o'clock, three hours from then, and four Shahad's Maniyot, of course, or are we calculating from the time of Netza Hama, which is about 7.20. Now, in the winter time, it's the difference is 6 o'clock and 7.20. In the summertime, if you go uh, as back as 5 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, the day begins. So a guy wakes up at 8 o'clock in the morning, he's uh, very much on the verge of already three hours. It's three hours into the day. And therefore, a person has to be extra careful to make sure that he says Kiryat Shema on time, especially on Shabbat morning. Many people, Shabbat morning, they wake up late. They pray at 8.30, 9 o'clock. By the time they get to Kiryat Shema in shul, it's 9.30, maybe even closer to 10 o'clock. You miss Kiryat Shema, there's no question. Better according to the Magen Abraham, better according to the Gera. Everyone would agree you missed Kiryat Shema. And therefore, one many times a person has to say Kiryat Shema before he even begins to pray. 8.30 in the morning, you're, you're starting to, to, to pray. Say Kiryat Shema right then and there before you get to Kiryat Shema and yet to fill out. Because you're going to miss it by the time you're going to get to it. Say it then. We'll talk about what a person should say before he says it, what now he should make. And therefore, this way, he's your say the mitzvah of Kiryat Shema. And later on, We'll just say it in the tefillah, and say that in the tefillah. Yom Tov Mubarak.